hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors transducers and instrumentation so in this video we are going to discuss uh, about uh, level measurement with the help of capacitive sensor now uh, we have already discussed uh, level measurement with the help of capacitive uh, sensor but uh, that was a bit different okay uh, so we'll discuss what is the difference between that uh, capacitive sensor for level measurement and this one B uh, both the principle they involve change in capacitance but the difference lies in which parameter undergoes change that leads to a change in the capacitance okay so the basic principle of uh, level measurement liquid level measurement with the help of capa capacitive sensor is that it, it operates on the principle of parallel plate capacitor and uh, it is used in industries for the measurement of liquid and water level so the basic setup it involves that we have a capacitive sensor which is connected to a float which is you know placed or it is floating on the surface of the liquid contained in a tank or container so there are two arrangements in which it can be connected one in this way and the other in this way okay now here in both these cases one of the plates of the capacitor is fixed okay and the other one is movable so before going into detail about this let us just have a quick you no know, recap at what a capacitive transducer is we have already discussed it many times but just so the operation of capacitive transducers or capacitive sensors it is based based on the principle of parallel plate capacitor where the capacitance is given by epsilon a by d or epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d so here the two parameters of interest which we are concerned here is this a and d let us say we have two plates of the capacitor parallel plate capacitor the two important things that determine the capacitance or on which capacitance is dependent is the distance between the plates and the overlapping area okay so there are two ways in which capacitance can be changed in this case which we are considering that is the distance between the plates and the overlapping area so what the overlapping area is is the portion of the plate which lies directly above the other okay so here as per this arrangement two arrangements in this first case this plate is movable it is connected to the float so whenever there is a change in liquid level the float will move upwards or downwards as a result of which this movable plate it will undergo sidewise movement lateral movement and this will lead to a change in overlapping area okay and in the second case this movable plate which is connected to the float so whenever there will be a change in the liquid level this movable plate which will undergo up and down movement and there will be a change in distance so here capacitance is changed by change in the overlapping area here capacitance is changed by change in distance between the plates so here capacitance is directly proportional to change in overlapping area inversely proportional to distance so as a result of this change in capacitance because of change in overlapping area and change in distance that is dependent on the level of liquid in the container okay so as we all know change in distance as per as d increases capacitance decreases and vice versa so capacitance which is 
inversely proportional to distance between the plates and capacitance is directly proportional to overlapping area. So this change in capacitance can be converted into suitable voltage or current signal using suitable signal conditioning techniques such as AC bridges or tank circuit. So in the uh, first uh, capacitive sensor measurement what we did is that the change in permittivity, the change in relative permittivity of the medium was taken into consideration. So when the uh, in the first case there were two capacitor plates connected in two ends of the uh, tank and because of rise in the liquid level the relative permittivity of the medium between the two plates that was changed and as a result of that capacitance used to increase or decrease but here in this case the parameter which is undergoing change is overlapping area in case of this kind of arrangement and distance between the capacitor plates in case of this kind of arrangement. So whenever there is a change in distance sensitivity is given by this change in capacitance with respect to distance and whenever there is change in overlapping area the thing is given like this okay where uh, sensitivity is given as per this relationship we have already discussed about capacitive sensors so i am not going in detail related to this so this is the whole thing related to capacitive sensors for level measurement where the overlapping area and the distance between the plates is taken into consideration okay so this is the sidewise movement lateral movement of the plates leading to a change in overlapping area the first arrangement and this is the second arrangement the second way in which capacitive sensors can be connected where there is a change in distance because of the up and down movement of the movable plate and in both the cases one plate is fixed and the other one is movable okay so this is level measurement with the help of capacitive sensors.